What's up folks, Maximilian here, and finally, Darkstalkers has received a faithful HD port on our current generation systems in the form of Darkstalkers Resurrection. So what I wanted to do early before I started jumping into multiplayer and all this stuff, which I will be doing and giving a thorough breakdown of how the online works, and most likely it's similar to Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, is checking out the characters, because uh, I know so little about how to play Darkstalkers, and I know a lot about the characters and the lore and stuff like that, at least to an extent. Uh, Darkstalkers was one of the games that I kind of just passed up, and I only played the first Darkstalkers a little bit in the arcades when I was really young, and I can't even say that counts for anything. But I think one of the things that Darkstalkers always had really well amongst all of, like fighting game lore is that it, its lore is great, and their characters are so memorable, so I think that's one of the things that keeps Darkstalkers in recent memory. However, Darkstalkers 3, dude, has a huge, huge cult, hardcore fighting game following, and there's some guys that still play Darkstalkers 3 hardcore to this day. And uh, don't expect any of that from here. We're going to be getting into the game and learning some stuff, and we're going to be checking out tutorial mode. Then I'm going to see... Man, who do I want to use first? I want to use, like, one of the characters I always liked in this game was John Talbane. Um, so we're going to start off with Johnny Boy and his kung fu fight in action, being a dog and stuff. We start off with the first challenge, and we'll get a few of these challenges challenges in with these few characters and see how the tutorial mode is actually, uh, how they actually, how they actually are setting it up and what kind of stuff it wants to get you to learn. Because the more they can teach me, the absolute better in a game like Darkstalkers, so... Let the spirit of the werewolves guide you. Trust in your teachings, John. First, you must learn to sweep the leg. Attacking low will force your opponents to guard while crouching. Gotcha. Okay, and Darkstalkers, what I understand, is very big into chain combos, like the light to heavy series, similar to Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, the original Marvel vs. Capcom. So every knockdown is an opportunity to mix your opponent up as they stand. Remember the value of a knockdown. Sounds good. Try it. And I think this is a basic kick kick one. You, uh, you can also do stuff like this. Just to give you an example, like four hits. But this one's just, this just wants one, two, three. Basic. Bam. It's a good jump and attack for this guy. That looks good. And do it five times, and hallelujah, we have learned tutorial. Simple enough, let's move on. Uh, I'm down for that. If you want to hit your opponent overhead quickly, so there are overheads in this game that are fast, it looks like, you can dash and attack. The dash leaves you airborne, so all attacks from it must be guarded while standing. Gotcha. So it's a jumping... Like, it looks like his regular dash allows him to do an overhead. There's a lot of landing recovery, so you will usually be unable to start a combo this way. This is actually getting into it pretty heavy, like, right at the start, which is pretty awesome. Um, considering it's an old game, it's like... Let's re it's familiar, guys, you guys, with how the game is really supposed to be played. There's a lot of landing recovery, so you'll usually be able to unable to start a combo this way. If you can hit... An overhead twice, however, if you dash with short and then link with jab. Oh, okay. So they're saying if I do something like that, I can combo after it. I guess that makes sense. So practice this. What they were showing me at first was... Was this, I guess? Yeah. This one. Uh, which is just jumping heavy punch. Let me do jumping heavy kick. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so... What it wants me to do is this this lunging short into a into a dashing jab and and eh, eh. ooh that doesn't happen very easily. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. One two. One two. Oh, I actually have to dash twice, so I have to hit dashing short maybe, and then go into a dashing jab. So if you guys have trouble with this one. It's literally forward, forward, light kick, and then while you're in the air, a forward, forward jab. At least I think it is. Yeah, that's actually what it is. It's actually a really tight timing. Let me see if... Whoa, oh my gosh, did you see that cross-up? This is, uh, this is fun. Because <laughs> it's hard. This is definitely a timing of, of fighting games back in the mid 90s. Oh man, I'm like doing it. I'm either doing it too fast or I'm doing something incredibly wrong. Because if I just if I don't add the second dash, he oh he does do it. Okay, okay, hold on. Is it? It's like working half the time video game. <laughs> this is getting goofy. 
There we go. So what I want to actually try, yeah, let me get more practice on this really quick. Oh, damn it, I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm going to try it in the next tutorial. Uh, so it's, what that's really important for is that you get an instant overhead, and you can actually do a chain combo after it. Um, so that's actually extremely important. Let's get into some advanced offense, though. But before I get into it, I'm going to, I'm going to test out what the game was just trying to teach me. Why can't I get a human form of John Telbane? That shit looks cool. If you go for a normal grab or wild circular, use the roundhouse button. If your opponent tries to jump away and your grab does not come out, you'll result, your resulting attack will most likely hit them out of the air. Whoa, okay, this is getting pretty technical. Because you're on, you're grounded, the roundhouse cannot be guarded in the air. Opponents who hit, or who get hit by this often may stop jumping and let you grab them. So you can win in either situation. So it's, okay, it's already established that there's air grabs. That, they didn't, they didn't explain that it looks like. Yeah, oh, there is air grabs, alright. So it's, it's, it's like a raw, a super raw anti-air. It looks really cool, too. I like the animation on it. Look at that. Mwah! Full circular animated motion. They had to draw every part of that dog from every freaking angle. Well done, John! Let's move on. One of your strongest quick punish combos is a crouching forward into ES Beast Cannon. Okay, that's pretty cool that the game is telling me what's good with damage. You can guide the ES Beast Cannon by pressing attack in a direction, getting many extra hits. Alright. So it's like some Hulk Gamma Charge type stuff, I guess. Yes. Wow, that's actually pretty good. The combo is difficult to hit considering uh, consistently and it's positioning dependent. Practice diligently to try to get five hits with your ESB's cannon. So, okay, I'm really digging how this tutorial is getting right down to the nitty gritty. Like, not really teaching you basics, which it might it might help if it had. But it's teaching you what makes the characters good and why you need to use what this stuff. Before I do this... I really want to try. Oh, I'm seeing if I can actually... Yeah, I think you just have too much recovery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely doing it too fast. Ooh, yeah, your character just, just sits there for a little while. No, three hits. Okay, I'm gonna give up on that for now. ES Beast Cannon is what? Oh, I already got it. I already got it. Put you over here. Might need the example again. I'm gonna go up. I wanna go up. Damn. Yeah. That's what I'm doing wrong. I, you just need to go up more with this. So just, once you get better with your motions and directions, just go up. That was bad. Yeah. See, yes. just copy that direction every time if you guys are having trouble with this one. Yes. Close. Yes. That, was that was a cross-up dude. Yeah, just keep yes. going left to right, and every time you go back to, like, the other direction, just keep going up and up, and you'll, like, staircase them up into the air. You can rip your enemies to shreds with this combo! Let's move on. That was fun. I actually, I wasn't getting frustrated because I felt like I was learning something every single time. Defense! Anti-air climb laser and the dragon cannon. I'm really liking the way this game feels. Like, I, I purchased Darkstalkers 3 when I was on PlayStation, and I never played with anybody. I just wanted a Darkstalkers game, and I wanted, like, combo-y games, like, you know, X-Men vs. Street Fighter and stuff like that. Your anti-air options are limited. Crouching Fierce or a very early climb laser are your best bet. Gotcha. Climb laser is like a Shoryuken, it looks like. I'll try to jump attack you. Try these attacks out. Try it. It lowers his hitbox, so that actually might be a pretty decent anti-air. What is Climb Laser? Command list! Down up kick? Oh, it's a fresher kicker.
Come on, jump me, bro. Why did that work? It hit like right at the bottom. I guess. Wah! Interesting how it's not counting it towards it. That's EX. I'm like trying to wait for a specific time or something. Maybe I have to get him way in the air. Yeah, I think it wants me to get him way the hell up there. Wah! Wah! There we go. Yeah, it didn't want me to get him so low to the ground. Remember to space these attacks properly. If you don't think you can anti-air, just guard yourself and look for another opening. That's good advice, usually. Opponents will be expecting you to come at them, and some of them tried to make stop you with projectiles. If you unleash a dragon canyon, you might be able to catch your enemy and burn them to a crisp. So yeah, this is his, like, his, like, uh, Behold! Optic Blast! This is a good way to spend meter if you're at a good read on your enemy. Let's try it. So what the hell is the dragon cannon? Oh, it does show for me. Uh, half circle forward and just two kicks? Neat. It's easy to do. And it costs meter, I'm assuming. Can I combo into it? Combo into that. Jesus, I did a ton of damage, dog. Like, look at this. 50%. Anyway, let's back to the tutorial. The wolf. Wolf. Well done! The difficulty here is not in executing the technique, but in reading your opponent. Move on! That's good. So he's got somewhat of an anti-fireball thing if he's got meter. Advanced defense, guard cancel, and ES beast cannon escape. Oh my god, we're getting we're getting less schmechnical here. I'm liking John, he's actually pretty fun. Yeah. You lady. Guard cancel techniques let you break out of guard stun to shift the momentum of a fight. Your guard cancel is your beast cannon rising. It has a slow startup, but you'll need to use it in the right situations to get the most out of it. Gotcha. The timing is difficult. Be sure to input the beast cannon rising in guard stun. So what is... While, while in guard stun? Okay. It's a shore you forward. Was, it, was that punch or kick? Punch. Ah, that's not that bad. Give me into a corner, dog. Give me into a corner, dog. Eh. One, two, three. Ah! One, two, three. Yeah, that's actually not that hard. Well done, John. Do you require more practice? I think I'm good. Let's move on. When cornered, you can use ES Beast Cannon to go through your opponent and escape. That was weird. Okay. Try it out. ES Beast Cannon was this. That is definitely not it. So it's got, what it's saying is that it has the invincibility to get out of situations like if you're in the corner. I get it. I get it. That's actually pretty useful so John Talbane can get the hell out. Remember your options and try to maintain your offense. If you cannot, escape when the opportunity arises. Okay, that's pretty good. So the use of a little bit of meter, you can get out of the corner. It's good to know. That's actually really good to know. Key techniques, air beast cannon combo and moment slice combo. Ooh, okay, so the final the final challenge of John Talbane is all combos against the fire red hot demon dog. Yeah. Rock and roll. 
You can score great damage from a jumping short using an air beast cannon combo. Oh, wow. Okay. When you land, hit them with the ES climb laser. Okay. I think I can actually get this. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's... It looked easy, right? It looked easy. Where's that? There we go! We got it, we got it. Okay. What is that? It's like up and three attacks? Up and two attacks to do like an OTG. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wow! 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 Wrong one. Wow! Okay, just gotta be super tight with it. It actually doesn't require the full charge time like, like normal things do in other fighting games in Capcom. You can actually just kind of throw it out. Yes. Gotta be quick. Both to be quick. Wrong one. Blah! Okay, so that's pretty good damage off of a quick jumping uh, light attack. You can even tack on Pursuit at the end if you wish. Oh, I think I was doing that. A moment slice combo is stylish and damaging. With a little training, you can land it starting from a crouching short. Oh, wow. Practice this until you have it down. Um, moment slice. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. Let, me get, let me get on the right side and think about this for now. Okay. Dink, dink, forward, dink, dink. Ah. Did I get it? Oh, man. Dude, I thought I had it at the start. What? Oh, dude, this is a tough one. All right, all right. I'm like, trying to see if there's any, like, shortcut I can put into here. But I don't think there is. Dude! Dude! <laughs> oh my god, it's only like... Let me look at this thing again. Yes, oh, it's light, light punch, medium punch, forward, light kick, medium kick. I, I am doing it right. We got it once. Okay, so it's it's possible to get it. All right, we we got it once, so you guys can see it because, dude, oh my god, it's 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 difficult. It is. Oh, I'm actually okay. I just, I just say, I just separated the combo into something just for my brain to handle a little bit better, and it just got way easier. What I'm doing now is I'm doing one, two, three, and then I'm just adding forward L K M K. What in God's name is this? Uh, so it's like this. Way easier that way. Instead of trying to do like, it's just actually maybe if I take that mentality. No, it doesn't work because that that this one like links into itself like pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy. So there's there's gonna be a challenge one. I was able to get one of five, but for you guys to be able to get this, props to you because that is a 
that is a difficult combination of buttons. So if you guys enjoyed a little bit of John Talbain's like training and tutorial, let me know. I'm going to be back very soon with another character I'm looking forward to playing as in Darkstalkers. My name is Max, and stay tuned, guys.